Antigua, Guatemala, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, home to delicious coffee and chocolate, and stunning views of volcanoes. Antigua is located just under five hours from most places in the United States and is a must visit. We spent three days in this wonderful city. We know planning a trip can be quite confusing and overwhelming. So we put together this three day Antigua travel guide. We're here for four nights and three full days in this beautiful city. We spent the first two nights at a hotel and explored Antigua. We then left early on day two for a hike up Acatenango where we stayed at a campsite overlooking the active Fuego volcano. On day three, we headed down and arrived back in Antigua around noon to enjoy lunch, shopping, and dinner in the city before heading out on the final morning. Antigua is located about 45 minutes from La Aurora International Airport in Guatemala City. For transportation, there are a few options. You could book a transportation service through a company like Viator. We booked a private van for transportation. For three people, it was about 20 US dollars per person. There's also a ton of taxi drivers that are willing to take you to Antigua right when you exit the airport. Our flight landed in the evening and we got to our hotel around midnight. There are so many hotel options ranging from $10 a night for a hostel to $200 a night for a luxury hotel. We chose to stay at Maison Ponza Verda. This hotel was located within walking distance to all the museums, restaurants, and coffee shops that we wanted to visit. It was a boutique hotel and they had this really cool pool that we're still not sure if you're actually allowed to swim in or not. We opted to do an overnight hike, so we spent one night in a tent. But when we came back to town the next day, we checked into the Hotel Casa Santo Domingo, which felt a little bit more like a traditional hotel but was still a great property. Both of these hotels had such a unique feel, incredible rooftops, great food, and super accommodating staff. We would recommend either of them for your upcoming trip. If these are booked up or you're looking for something a little more cost-effective, here are some other recommendations we received. Guatemala is known for its coffee. Some of the most fun we had in Antigua was bouncing through the city one coffee shop at a time. But be warned, the coffee is strong. Drink too much coffee and I'm jittering. Some of our favorite coffee shops were Artista de Cafe for delicious coffee and a cool place to hang out. La Rosana Coffee Shop to get to-go coffee. And last but not least, Alegria Cafe. One of the reasons we love to travel is to try a variety of foods. And Antigua has so many options from delicious cafes. You know, I'm a big smoothie guy. How's your rainbow smoothie bowl? Excelente. To dinner with a vibe. Antigua has a spot for all types of travelers. For breakfast and lunch, we recommend Cafe Bohem. Has a wonderful rooftop terrace with a variety of drink options. Union Cafe for delicious smoothies and Coba Farms for farm to table meals. For dinner, we recommend Porque No for a fun atmosphere, delicious food at affordable prices. Just be careful climbing that rope. And Nana, this place had good food and cool neon signs. The colorful town of Antigua is worth a trip on its own, but the town also has great proximity to some incredible nature and adventure activities. We opted to do the challenging Acatenango hike for a chance to see Fuego erupt. Despite my objections to the Pacaya volcano instead, a much easier day hike that's known for letting tourists make pizza and s'mores over its lava flows. But what's life without a little challenge? In addition to the aptly called Pizza Volcano, which by the way was recently visited by the legendary Mark Weens, there's also nearby Lake Atelier, the deepest lake in Latin America that is actually a volcanic crater. To be honest, this hike was rewarding but very challenging. With 5,000 feet of elevation gain, it's basically walking up a steep, gravelly terrain with little reprieve for five hours. In our opinion, it's definitely worth the effort, but it's super important to be prepared for this strenuous hike. We saw a lot of people that were struggling and even some that had to turn back part way, so take the prep seriously. Here are some tips for your preparation. It's really cold up here at night, so you have to bring a lot of layers. You know, you're, when you start hiking, you're sweating, and it's probably like in the 70s. When you get up here, as you can see, we are in the clouds. It gets really cold. I think it gets down to zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, so make sure you have plenty of layers and bring some gloves and some uh, beanie or something. We will include a full packing list in the description of the video, but a few things we highly recommend are a 50 liter backpack, a hat and sunscreen for sun protection because the sun is intense at altitude, a good pair of hiking shoes, a headlamp, and rain gear. Please note you do need to carry your own water and four to five liters is recommended for the trek. We use camel bags and water bottles. The tour company we chose was Trek Guatemala. Our tour guide Mario was outstanding. Best guide ever. <laughs> 
Trek Guatemala has less people in a hiking group than other tour operators, and they offer rentals for gear such as backpacks, headlamps, jacket, and winter hat and gloves, so you don't have to purchase everything before your trip. Our trip included round trip transportation to and from Antigua, the tents, sleeping bags, sleeping pads, and our trekking poles, food, and the park entrance and camping fees. If you have any questions about your trip planning for Guatemala, let us know down in the comments and we would be happy to help. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.